Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nat and Co. and I want to talk to you guys about the newest game, a new game coming out called Imaginary Friend Asylum. And if you guys haven't heard of this game, well, Super Hobart Bro the other day just played a demo version of this game that he received from the from the developer of the game. So I suggest you go and watch that video. But for now, I'm going to show you guys the actual Steam page for this game since I can't access the actual game. But this is for you guys to well know about and discover for yourselves if you guys think that this game would be interesting for you to play. Anyway, this is called Imaginary Friend Asylum, a psychological horror game about being a child in an insane asylum. You're in a cruel world, but your imaginary friends have your back. Here you will uncover a dark conspiracy where you are to receive a terrible fate. There's literally a video here for us to watch and I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys right now. Yeah, it's available for early access, but as far as I'm aware, you can't really play it on here. I've already tried seeing you. You can get get to play it, but so far I haven't been able to see a way for normal people to play it. So, that's fine. As far as it's an early access, those of you who can play it, you should. It's interesting. Here's a few screenshots of the game. They look pretty damn interesting. A lot, yeah, there's not a lot of uh, character detail. It's mostly the detail is in within the imaginary friends themselves being the most detailed and alive looking creatures in this game. It actually looks interesting on its own. I've seen Super Horror Bro play the game as well. It is actually an interesting feature and concept. See these are all the little imaginary friends there. They're quite a cute little bunch if I do say so myself. They look quite interesting. But anyways down to the page. I already added it onto my wish list because I was quite interested in how it was going to play. You got single player full controller support, Xbox controller. But here's a chronological chapter in the story by the friends we left behind. Friends we left behind is a point and click horror game. You must provide different escape room situations to win. Play five separate bone chilling levels with unique puzzles. Dream different imaginary friends. Play solo on your PC in a dark room and volume turned up high, you chicken. Heh. <laughs> Clever. Okay. About this game, a psychological horror game of being a child in a same asylum. You're in a cruel world, but it's your imaginary friends have your back. It's 1949 and you're a new patient at Hothmore Children's Asylum. During your stay you'll explore and discover disturbing secrets including the mysterious ghosts of the asylum. Along the way you will befriend other children and their imaginary friends. Together you will uncover a dark conspiracy 
where you are to receive a terrible fate. Uh, atmospheric environment, realistic graphics, elements of exploration, platforming and ARG, immersive storytelling, dialogue and lore. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I think it's going to be one of those kind of interesting games. Let's look at the friends we left behind. Since this goes, since this goes hand in hand with that game. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the video. Long ago, the children whose society deemed broken were discarded here. In an asylum, you become invisible to the world. And over time, even your own sense of self fades away. Once you disappear, what is left but a shadow of who you used to be? So according to the timeline of this game, this takes place after the events of Imaginary Friend Asylum. So that's an interesting, even spookier take on what is going to be an interesting puzzle game. Then again, I've never seen puzzle games like this have quite such spooky features before. Considering how I saw the Early Access video. For the first game, this is going to be an interesting take for a second game. It actually looks even more intimidating than the first game, if anything else, at that. Especially with how it is. Oh, ooh, it even has levels. Play through every level or one difficulty. Friend rush. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, playful, aggressive, unstable, insane, and lethal. Oof. That is going to be one tough point and click adventure game. Anyway, they, they even have a demo for it. Download the Friends We Left Behind demo. And you can even buy it now, even though it feels like this shouldn't be available considering the first game, which is Imaginary Friends Asylum, which is literally the prequel to this game would it make sense to actually play this game or play the first one which hasn't even come out yet that is the most confusing part about it let me fucking pause that so it's not 
going. But it does show 1977, which takes place a few decades after the origins of the first game. So, or the prequel of the game. Play the demo to try out four out of five levels on easy mode. Meet your new imaginary friends. In 1949, several children mysteriously disappeared. Now it's 1977, and it's your job to investigate the last place they were seen. Hothmore Children's Asylum. Which is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Do you have what it takes to survive? Braid the asylum haunted by the echoes of tortured children. Oh, and solve puzzles and snap pictures with your nifty camera. That's cool, too. The friends we left behind is a point-and-click horror game, meaning that you cannot run away. Imaginary friends would never make it that easy for you to escape. Play the game your way. Play all five levels of the game on difficulty of your choice. The full game includes easy, medium, and hard, as well as its very own game modes. Friend Rush and Insane cl Insanity Climb. Get the most out of your purchase by challenging yourself to unlock the elusive lethal mode. Play with all the imaginary friends now. They've been dying to meet you. <laughs> Not gonna lie, these two games are quite an interesting pair. It is actually very interesting to to see what these games are like. And sadly, I'm not sure if anyone's even thought of looking into the friends we've left behind. Because uh, the Imaginary Friend Asylum is the one that's getting more notice. When this one should be also getting some notice as well. It doesn't really show any very many positive reviews as you can see there's only 13 positive reviews on this game so i think talking about this game would be an interesting feat people should actually try this game as well considering this is going to be basically what happens in the aftermath of imaginary friends asylum and imaginary friends asylum is literally taking place before the events of this incident right here though then again once you've already played this this game, you pretty much know what's going to happen in the first game. There's not really much to it. But, the mystery is lies in how all those children go missing and how they disappeared and what actually happened to them. That's going to be quite an interesting feat, indeed. And then I can't wait to see what's in store for both of these games. I hope people do get in touch and look at these games as well, because these Two are very interesting games in my mind. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in another video. See you later. <laughs>